Hi everyone, it's WGM Sepsi out here. Hi Steel, welcome back to Let's Play at Dragon Quest 11 S. Last time right, we got past the creepy or the cryptic crypt and got two new Um Is that really talk about did I talk about them? I don't know if I did. So if I didn't, let's go over them. Um so Serena is a healer. She uses a lot of healing spells. Uh, let's actually go to... is it... Line up? Yeah, here it's light up. So, Serena has a lot of magical bending, which means she is a healer. Magical might is... Yes. Yeah. So she is a healer. She is the white mage. Veronica, on the other hand, is the black mage. She has a ton of magical might. So, basically, white mage, black mage. That's basically how you're going to go about it. Uh, Wow, Veronica has a lot just realized. She has 43 agility, that's quite a lot. But anyway, so we now have to uh leave Hoddles, leave the hot step. So how you say that? Salty it? I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. So let's do so. Uh, before I forget... Tactics... Followers... So that we can... Um, pick and choose what we can do here. Like this? I know you really... Um, off screen, but I wanted to grab that one because that's the one we used to get the uh, Iron Lord for that quest. Mm -hmm. Cross the bridge. Well, it's not really a bridge, it's more of a log. Log bridge. And I'm actually going to go quickly heal here. As I can. Just to, uh, because I, I did use a little bit of the to heal, so... We head on further down. I do think there's another spark sparkly spot coming up. I do love how the, those made enemies roll. They roll. They're, they're all good. Anyway, now that we're here, first, tick tock, tick tock, oh dear, dear, I shall be too late, I fear. If someone doesn't step in the same day, take it to the time as well and shut up. Talk to clock won't stop. Really, it's five minutes to midnight. Where are someone that to come to our aid? Hold on a tick. You've clocked me, am I right? Can be true? Can you see me? Yes. What's my time? I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. It can only mean one thing. You're here, aren't you? Oh, tickety boo. You're finally here. Not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to miss you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a Tuckle from over Tickle. We're in a terrible time at the moment. Can I ask you? Come to be the hero of our jar. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Hero. Yeah, it wouldn't take you more than a month. Spot to agree. Uh, are you talking to yourself now? Has the sun gone to your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking. Come on, it's time to show you and your friends the way to ticket and follow me. Oh, but but, but wait, before we head off, make a good time record your see your journey as you an adventure log. Don't take for you, we'll take your ticks. So we get an option to see if I will take that. There we go, all done. Well, let's make our way to Ticketon, shall we? It shall be there in no time flat. Welcome to possibly the biggest side quest in the game. 
Pickington. Hold on, what just happened? Things all went weavy and suddenly we're in this weird village. Oh look, he's adorable. He's so adorable, but who is he? Tiktok looks like she clocked me too. You'll see this hero here is Fred. Not that you pick a pen and paste, it's a little bit already ordinary. Ordinary and certain special people can see us talk at times, but it's like it's even ordinary folks sit for here in our home middle of too. Uh, I think we need a little background here, like who are you? Where are you? Why the heck are we here? You know, the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? The beginning? Yes, yes, of course, the beginning! Tickety boo you'll be explained. We are the Tuckles, and we live here in the village of Pickington. But it's a very peculiar place where time flows a little differently than the way it does in the Agraea. Just warned you to make sure the time flows as it should that past, present, and future are all in the right order. And also flow on the folding as intended. In other words, we make sure everything's tickety boo Ah, hang on a tick. I need to tell Mary you're here. Why don't let him explain the rest? Let's head up the stairs and you'll find a very special place we call the Echo Chamber. So come on, take a leg. The clock's ticking. There's no time like the present. So yes, we are in effect we were in 2D mode. You can tell me all about you. You're a little aren't you? Well, come to Tickington. So it's time to talk to me though. It's Mary wants to speak to you. You'll probably find him upstairs in the Echo Chamber. So this is what 2D is like, by the way. I haven't really talked too much about TD Will, but this is what it looks like. And you just bring them up to them pressing A. Well, here's the bolt sound for me going into the. So we get urn of royal soil in one of the pots. Gosh, you're in a luminary, aren't you? Gosh, it's sick you arrived in the village. There's just something different about you. But does it let me take up any real time? The rest of you can get up in the echo chamber there, so keen to meet you. Tick tock, look who I've got. It's a luminary, not a moment too soon. Oh, I mean, we're going beyond space and time. So I'll be brief. People have a secret mission. That's why we sought you out. Go to the tomes and the altar around us. In these secret volumes are inscribed the tales of hallowed heroes from other worlds and other ages. This time and memorial, the, the duty of my people has been to guard these books and to ensure the great deeds of the past live in the present. So I've created the place where we now stand, the Echo Chamber, the secret place. Where the adventure logs of all hallowed heroes of old to be kept safe in the ravages of time. Or so we had thought, this holy haven would be sullied by an unknown miscreant who had took upon themselves to tear whole pages from the beloved books, really dull of others would think. I have no I'm afraid I have no idea who committed this heinous crime. What I do know is this thing stand, the heroic happenings of the past we must be lost forever. This way itself hangs in the balance. Which is where you come in. As a hero of your nature, I must ask you to write this wrong. I suggest you plunge each of these volumes, plunge into each of these volumes, set the tie on the right path once more. But before you dive in, you must first learn the secret incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock. Passwords. I hate that it's called that. Sadly, these were long since scattered across the area. So being so, I've entrusted my most dependable puckles with the most with the task of taking them out. Hi, one of our friends here, and of course, your travel will stop a moment and speak with them. And with luck, they'll learn the words that enable your journey to continue through the past pages of ages. When you've learned one, you'll return here and visit the, legend, the very legend of the greatest heroes known in space and time. 
I'm not being confused. Old age, don't get cold in Spanish. Find a password the other day. Come a little, come a little talk tech. Share what you've learned with my friends. Yes, sir. Talk tech. Let's make this quick. Now I prick up your ears, cause I'll only say this once. And we get a password. And then I feel visit Lindholm in the in the altar of origins. Why not strike while the time is on the and take a closer look at the altar over there? When your world adventures wait. Oh, the time is present. So, this is as I said, this is possibly the longest side quest in the game. And this was I I think this was in the original version. I I mean the original version as in Dragon Quest XI, this normal Dragon Quest XI. But yes, each one of these books is basically a remembrance of previous Dragon Quest games. So this one, the one that's sparkling, Altar of Origins, will let us visit Dragon Quest I. Or Dragon Warriors, it was called then. Let's do it. And now we're in Dragon Quest 1 land. And because we're in 2D land, this is the one reason why I didn't have 2D on. Random encounters. Yes. There are random encounters in this. Because there is. Don't ask, it just is. Hear my tail wander thy wind by the way the way thy way to one tiny dwelling place and legendary bard Galen, who are trying to take up its name. Alas, I was right, the most unhappy juncture, Fire Monster is half of the effrontery to Violet, to the very most famous son, who has purloined those possessions precious possession, the liar of ire. Well, this story does root this no mere just to relic. Like, nay, it is a powerful art right indeed and cause monsters to put words to you who ever give us it's people's strings the merest brush. You knew this only too well. The struggle for it until this peaceful case was overwhelmed with hideous beasts when the time for off their bear were alive. Surely the end of Glenholm, that is, unless a hero could be convinced to seek out a back with the fair fiend who dared deprive us of a talent of pressure. Could Star be that hero? So we get a quest. It's basically kill this guy. Kill this monster. Truly, you are gallant indeed, the cult of Sulk of somewhere in time, pretty flesh and rogue, in spite of all thy might. Unkept thy wits about thee, friend. It's not the case that the path thou seekest lieth revealed in darkness, the other is the shadows wield many a surprise. And many a monster also, for certain without a good deal of care, that will certainly perish at the hands of the creature that prowls the time, the spirits work swiftly. Now that would get the Harp Harkin Tours quest. As this is the first one, it's pretty easy to get it. So first we get medicinal herb, lamp light, and 20 gold coins. Wahaha, this liar of ours hard to beat and keeps drumming up new fans. Eh? Is that a human? You come here to play, right? You bag it over, mate. You want to give the liar back? I'm not sure I'm afraid to snare it. Fat chance of that. This thing is great. I bet I miss it among my bongo banging brethren, you see. My brother's all over the place and I can't sting for toffee. Whatever I want as an audience, I appreciate something a little bit different. 
Oh, there's Strum the Liar and a whole bunch of alternative music bands show up to kick it with me. I've never had so much fun. Are we talking? Are we, like, stopping this guy from using, from playing alt music? Never mind. So we're going to try to make me give it back. I'm going to beat you black and blue. Drum roll, please. As we get a boss fight, we get a Rongo Bongo. And um, I'm actually going to use uh, Rubble Riser here to start off. Um, oh, I just have buff, okay. Ah, he can summon he can summon monsters. That's right. Okay, well that's... It's fine. Uh oh. Shocked. Strina is shocked. Veronica is shocked. Crap. Luckily, we still have Rubble Riser kicking in. There we go. The monster is still alive, virus and more. Go and give the old man he asked you to get back the good news. Or take it down the stairs. I start and definitely side up my head. Let's see go, uh, go further. We can't actually go there yet. Alright, it's this way. Turned and it seemed without us. So we're covering our beloved lie. Pretty hand it to me. Jar. Pretty speed. The lie has returned to us, and the time to leave fed can return home once more. Words alone cannot adequately express my gratitude, but perhaps this can. And get a gold bracer. Let's let the rest again beside. He uh, eats such rich movies like the Prince of Strings. Yay. The fact to be that those generations yet to come might seek our career as treasure. Should error need to arise, plus our area will fight you, friend. So yeah, that's how this place works. You basically do quests and set in other dragon quests. And now suddenly everyone's here. Unfortunately, you can't rest in the inn, and there's no, uh, Weapons of Arbor in this place. So let's just get out of here. Warp, 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 warp. Ah, so what if you. So you've returned. What tales do you have to regale me with this time, hmm? 
Led Dell's mare taking an everyone's out enjoying adventures in the past. Goodness me, Gallon Home was besieged by monsters, you say? Hmm, perhaps these are merely the musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that the vandal who defeated our the feast. Our beloved books may be attempting to rewrite history itself. As long as you are able to visit each of these heroic ages and right wrongs that have been wrought there, proper flow of time will restore some enough. In which case you'll need to continue to seek out the consoles. You're traveling length for prayer for the Drea and search for passwords. More than there are more ancient ages you'll be able to visit. And if anyone can find them put them all things right as you, it's time for you to shine, dear hero. Most talkles, our secret mission has always been to ensure that the great deeds of the past remain intact for the sake of the future. We need your help. Please, history itself hangs in the balance. Okay. So, that is our big quest. Basically, each... I think each dragon quest has, like, three areas? Yeah, each dragon quest has three areas. Effectively making... 33 different zones and I think yeah it's it's everyone except 11 itself 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah it's everything it's from Dragon Quest 1 to 10 so it's very very interesting but for those who don't know Dragon Quest 10 is a thing it's just never been released outside of Japan Papa's office is dispatched to every corner of a train and such password. She should want to clock one of the travels to be sure to say hello. So this guy is blocking a thing for Street Pass. Uh, because this game was originally also going to come out on the DS. Um, but it, I think it did come out on the DS? I'm not sure about that. But it definitely did come out on the DS in Japan, I think it was. Uh, but it was only available, like, I think only 2D mode was available. And yeah, effectively in there is like stuff for Street Pass, but we can't do that because we're playing on the Nintendo Switch, because of course we are. Anyway, let's get out of here. What's the next mission for that? Where did he get a bow tie? There, I don't, don't ask. Welcome back, Lunar. There, heard you took a moment to listen to Baron's special assistance. Thank you. Good luck. And tickle, Ingle's uncle. Come talk to me. You decided to tie the strike for a trip to Pickington. Oh, wait a second. There, had something he wanted me to pass on. Get Rob, proper taking off if I forgot. Tick tock, tick tock. Bring back the past. Turn back the clock. And apparently, we remember the locations of the toggles. Press X to select passwords from the info menu and get some hints on where to find the toggles you're looking for. If you track down a toggle and have them teach you your password, it's simple as that. I'm sure you have a fine time, but good luck! Yeah, we are going to need it, because I do plan on doing that. I do plan on doing, um, as part of the Let's Play, I do plan on doing Tickington. Not show pass without um, a pass. Let me show the pass. Mm, very well. Everything's in order. Here you go. And right here was where the demo ends. So yeah, all of that, like up to this point, has been the demo. The demo lasted for a very long time. And um, I remember. Which I was very happy of, but I also didn't want the game. I didn't want the demo at the end because I wanted to keep playing. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I do enjoy this game, but I've actually never beaten it. Which is the whole point of this let's play. The whole point of of this let's play, by the way, is that I want to beat this game. I keep restarting it for reasons unknown. Because I keep, I, I think it's because I keep forgetting where I get, where I am. And then I'm like, oh, I'll probably just start again. It's fine. But anyway, here's a new enemy. Oh! Two new enemies, I should say. We have a metal slime. These things are really hard to hit. 
they are pretty much immune to like everything. But if you kill them, you do get a an amazing amount of XP. But I don't think I'm going to kill them. We got it. We killed it. Ow. I can't believe I got a metal slime, the first encounter. Yeah. 2075 XP. I think, I think we leveled up. <laughs> I feel better than ever. Um... Okay, so you haven't done anything. You haven't done anything. You might. So I can have either anti-magic, or what's that? No, that's... Yeah, I'll, I'll pick this now. And the Hymn of Fire. I can't believe I got a Metal Slime in the first encounter that I do. That's pretty insane. <laughs> well, I was gonna need to grind for the next boss, but I don't think I do now after that. Do you get a mini medal right here? And we got an iron ore, a copper ore, and a gold ore. Over here, get a small scale. Over here, get some wither wood. I think this is in the enemy as well. Really? Let's keep at it. Really? 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 Th this is dumb. This should not be happening. The fact that my first encounter I got one metal slime, this encounter I've gotten two metal slimes. Now what are the chances that I'm going to kill both of them is zero, but hey, you never know. And they're gone. I wasn't going to be that lucky again. The game was like, no, you've got enough experience. I'm not, I'm not allowing you to get more experience. You're not allowed.
that that would have been that would have been um too much. Easy peasy. I kind of want to get into another fight just so that I can prove the metal slimes are rare. The fact that I've gotten two and two encounters, or sorry, three and two encounters, is pretty insane. I might know. I might need to go do the lottery after this. Don't gamble, folks. Don't, 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 don't do it. So in here is where we need to go, but I need to go collect the other items first. So that's what I intend to do. Well, I'm not going to collect all of the items, I'm just going to collect the items in this first little area here. Because there are two reasons why. Firstly, the, the story is actually going to take me up there. And secondly, we actually need to make a wee stop here for the special toggle. Hello, Mrs. Lemonade. It took my ticking time, but I found a password for you. And then sit now. Make sure you're paying attention. It's. And we got another password. We can now visit Muhan and the altar of the legendary line. Tickety tick. You can use that password to give you to visit another word from the, from the actual location in Tickington. The couple's up there whiling away they are searching for passwords, you know. Be sure to take a moment to talk to the Calcross City. Without clocking off, totally back to Tickington. Lovely me. Good luck with the rest of your Tick tock. So, I'm actually not going to do this right now. Um, because I do, there is a, one more item I do need to get. Just up here. Yeah, there it is. And it's a strip of snake skin. Now we can go rest in this place and uh, we can now zoom to Tickington. Which is what I intend to do, but first I need to rest here to. Uh, Ah yes, now, now he can buy rapiers. And we can also buy turbans, bunny ears. Turbans are pretty good if I remember correctly. I already have one, so I don't need to get another one. So I will actually buy these. So we get a uh, an achievement, basically. I, was, I couldn't figure out the word achievement. I was like, what's the word? What's the word for achievement? <laughs> I was like, it's achievement. 
Word for achievement is achievement. Game. But I couldn't think of the word achievement, so I was like, what's the word? <laughs> So I'm going to do a wee bit of uh, invent inventory management here. So actually, I'm going to talk about the thing that isn't worth it. So the Arithides Vest and the the um, the Elevating Vest, they they have a cap. They're not worth it. They just are. I'd love them to be worth it, but they're not. I would love them for, the, for them to be worth it, but they're not, because they have a cap. The cap for the river these vests is, I think it's, um, actually it shows you, it tells you. Yeah, so you can only get a maximum of 15 gold coins from it, and the elevating vest you can only get a maximum of 75 XP. Like, yes, it's good for, like, basically the starting areas, but once you get, like, enemies that do, that give you more than, like, so basically you only get, like, 75 XP from it, and, t and 15 gold, max. It's not worth it. It just isn't. But we're finally here, to Galopolis. going on, I wonder? Hmm. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the desert knights, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Oh, let Mr. Moody No Fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. All right. And with us being in a new town, uh, we will explore the said town, I'll get all the items off screen, but uh, we'll proceed next time. So next time in Drag Quest 11 S, we'll explore our new town. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, come part of our community, respond to all, post for all. 
Of course.